dear viewers welcome to my channel in the previous videos we have seen regarding the preparation of the total debtors account total creditors account as a continuation of the same in this video i have taken a problem on conversion of single entry into double entry by preparing the final accounts here kindly watch the video till the end like it sub subscribe it and share among your friends if you have any comments please put your comments in the comment box now let's move to the white board there's another problem on on conversion of single entry into double double entry this is a question which has appeared for the 2018 of Rani Chanowski financial accounting paper. So the problem is like this. Mister, let me stretch this. Mr. Ishwar keeps his books of accounts on single entry system. He gives the following following information statement of affairs as on one sorry one one two thousand seventeen. So let me insert a table here liabilities rupees assets rupees so creditors creditors 36,000 debtors 20,000 bills payable 3600 stock 30,000 capital 89,400 plant plant 40,000 Buildings, buildings, thirty two thousand, thirty two thousand, then cash, two thousand, bills receivable, bills receivable. Rupees one thousand furniture four thousand the total here one lakh twenty nine thousand so the same total here also one lakh twenty nine thousand the next one here it is given cash book cash book for the year 2017 let me insert a table here receipts rupees payments rupees so to opening balance Two thousand by bills payable rupees two thousand to debtors to debtors sixty thousand four hundred
by creditors 35,600 to cash sales to cash sales 20,000 by cash purchases by cash purchases 4,000 to bills receivable 600 by office expenses by office expenses 3000 3000 next then we have uh, wages by wages rupees 10000 by carriage inward carriage inward 3000 by duty and octroi rupees 1000 by salaries salaries 2400 by printing 1600 by drawings 16,000 by closing balance 4,400 the total of this 83,000 83,000 Next, other information, credit sales, rupees 91,000, 91, discount allowed, rupees 1,000, then Credit purchases, credit purchases rupees forty thousand. Then discount earned rupees two thousand. Then return inwards. rupees 1200 then return outwards rupees 1000 bills receivable received from debtors rupees 1400 bad debts bad debts rupees 1000 bills payable accepted rupees 4000 stock on 31 12 2017 
rupees forty one thousand provide for doubtful debts at five percent on debtors depreciate plant and furniture furniture by 10% each and building by 5% prepare trading and profit and loss account loss account for the year ending for the year ending 31st 12 2017 and balance sheet as on that date so now from these details now we are required to prepare solve this problem here so first let's understand what is giving the problem so in this problem we have provided with the opening capital so we need not prepare statement of affairs then uh, here we have given the cash book here summary of the cash book is given this is used for preparing the trading and PL account and we have given other information we have not provided with the closing balance of debtors closing balance of creditors similarly closing balance of bills receivable as well as bills payable so for these details now we are required to prepare those things here so first let us prepare the bills receivable account bills receivable account let me insert the table here so columns particulars rupees particulars rupees okay so now it will start the opening balance so two balance brought down so the balance which is given in the opening statement of fares that is rupees 1000 so here 1000 then we need to ascertain which are the transaction that will have its impact on preparing the bills bills receivable account so now let us go for referring here 600 rupees it is received here so that means bills are honored here so when the bills are honored then enter will be cash from debit to bills receivable account so here by cash rupees 600 next is there any other transaction like uh, dishonor etc we need to find out there's no any dishonor here so by balance carry down that is given as rupees 1800 so now let's take the total here so total so the credit side is more that is 2400 let me write down here also 2400 so the difference is nothing but two debtors that is bills received here so two debtors in the bracket you write bill acceptance of bills acceptance of bills this is balancing figure here so that comes to rupees 1400 so 1400 the next one we need to prepare total debtors account total debtors account so creditors here so total debtors account so again let me insert the columns here 
so particulars rupees particulars rupees so it will start the opening balance on debit side so two balance brought down the balance brought down which is given in the statement opening statement here it is given as 20,000 so 20,000 then we need to refer to the receipts and payment account you see here we are given debtor 60,000 400 which is the cash received so when the cash is received here cash on debit to debtors account so debtors account is collected by cash 60,400 then we have given here 91,000 business credit sales so to credit sales rupees 91,000 now we need to find out which are the other transaction that will have its effect on preparing the total debtors account here we have given discount allowed so when the discount is allowed then it will be a discount allowed account of the total debtors so total debtors is credited by discount allowed so that is rupees 1000 then next we need to find out which are other things here so return inwards are nothing but the sales returns so then the entry will be return inwards contribute to total debtors so total debtors is collected by return inwards rupees 1200 then we need to find out other transactions there is a bad debt uh, sorry there is a bills receivable here this is we should take here so by bills receivable rupees 1400 then there's a bad debt so buy bad debts here that is rupees, bad debts here it is rupees 1000 then let us leave a line here so total so the total here it will be 1 lakh 11 thousand so the total here 1 lakh 11 thousand so let's find the difference here so by balance carried down in the bucket here balancing figure so when you take the difference here it will be so here at 46,000 46,000 is the difference here so this is i will make the bold so that you can easily note down sorry here it is yeah this is not balancing figure here it is actually this is balancing figure because we are not given the balancing figure I write down here so I will make this as a board so that we will come to know which is the found here so the next one we need to prepare bills payable account bills payable account So let me insert the column here. So particulars rupees particulars rupees. So it will start with the credit balance. So by balance brought down. So the balance brought down here is three thousand six hundred. Then we need to find out from the receipts and payment account you can see here there is a buy bills will 2000 which is bills are paid here so when the bills are paid here then it will be bills payable account debit to cash account so that is rupees 2000 then the next one we have given here it is uh, 
bills payable accepted so when there is acceptance of bills payable then entry will be creditors account debit to bills payable account so bills payable account is created by total creditors so that is rupees 4000 so now let us uh, take the total here so total total here so the total here it will be 7600 let me write down here also 7600 so the difference here is 5600 so this is nothing but with the bills uh, the closing balance here so two balance two balance carry down balancing figure so now we need to prepare so we have prepared the so here total creditors we need to prepare so total creditors total total creditors account So let me insert the table here. Just so here total creditors account so particulars rupees particulars rupees so it will start the opening credit balance so by balance brought down so the opening balance here it is a 36000 then there is you can see the payment side creditors 35600 are paid here so when it is paid here then the entry will be total creditors account debit to two cash account so 35,600 then we need to find out which are the other transactions that will uh, have its effect on preparation of the creditors account so credit purchases then uh, return outwards so here let me take to return to return outwards so the return outwards amounted to rupees 1000 then there's a buy credit purchases or simply purchases so that is rupees 40000 then there's a to discount earned sorry to before that to bills payable to bills payable 4000 then to discount earned 2000 so now let's take leave a line here total 
that is 76,000. Let me write down here also total 76,000. So the difference, so let's write down here two balance carry down balancing figure. So that balancing figure comes to here 33,400. 33,400. Let me make board here. So this we have found. So here, this we have found. This is the total. So the next here. Uh, Mr. Ishwar's. Ishwar's trading and profit and loss account, loss account for the year ending, for the year ending 31st 12, 2031st 12. Let me stretch here. 12, 2017. So credit. So let me insert the table here. So particulars. Rupees. Particulars rupees. So now let us go by one by one here. So to opening stock, to opening stock, so that is given as rupees 30,000. Then by sales, by sales, here we have given cash rupees 20,000. 20,000 then credit 91,000 the sum of this will be and uh, we have got return also here so return let me take the subtotal 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 it comes to one lakh one lakh eleven thousand less returns less returns so return here it is amount to be is one thousand. 200 so the difference here it will be 1 lakh 9800 next to purchases in the same fashion there is cash purchases rupees 4000 then credit purchases rupees 40,000. So subtotal will be 44,000 less returns. That is return outwards we should take here 1,000. So the difference here it is 43,000. Then by closing stock, by closing stock, 
by closing stock it is given as rupees 41,000. 41,000 then to wages so wages rupees 10,000 then the next other trading expenses so to carriage inward suppose if you are given outward you should take in the pain account so it is 3,000 then we have got a duty and opry so to duty and opry that is rupees 1000 so now we should take the total here all the trading account items are over so here the credit side credit side is more here so the total will be 150800 let me leave a line here. So I will cut here and paste here. So total, let me write down here. So total one lakh fifty thousand eight hundred. So you take the difference here. This is a to gross profit carry it down so that has come to uh, when you take the difference here it will be 63,800 now by gross profit brought down 63,800 so now we should record all the administrative selling and distribution expenses so to office expenses to office expenses rupees 3000 which are given here then to salaries there is no any outstanding here so to salaries 2400 then the next one here to printing 1600 then to rdd or reserve for doubtful debts rdd i have written short which is to be calculated at the rate of five uh, here it is given as provided 5% of the closing debtors. So 5% of rupees closing debtors which we have found in this problem as 46,000. So 46,000 that comes to 2,300. Then similarly we have got here on the credit side by discount earned so because this is income so that is 2000 next to discount allowed discount allowed it is given as 1000 then next to depreciation to depreciation here plant it is given as 10% uh, so in the problem it is given as 10% so 10% of 40,000 that will come to 4000 similarly on furniture again same 10 percent of 4000 that comes to 400 400 then on uh, 
बिल्डिंग बिल्डिंग फाइव परसेंट सो हियर बिल्डिंग इट इज द रेट चेंज हियर सो फाइव परसेंट सो वी शुड सी द वैल्यू ऑफ द बिल्डिंग थर्टी टू थाउजेंड सो फाइव परसेंट ऑफ थर्टी टू थाउजेंड विच कम्स टू रुपीज वन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड सो द टोटल डेप्रीसिएशन दैट कम्स टू रुपीज सिक्स थाउजेंड देन सो नाउ वी शुड सी द टोटल हियर Of course, you need not bother about this total. So this sixty-three thousand eight hundred is the gross profit. So we have taken here. So now let's take the total here. Credit side is more. So let us leave a line here. So total will be sixty-five thousand eight hundred. Let's write down the same total here. Total. Sixty-five thousand eight hundred. So the difference is to to net profit carry down in the bracket transfer to balance sheet. So here the profit will be. So when you deduct the from sixty five thousand eight hundred these amounts here you will get forty eight thousand forty eight thousand five hundred forty eight thousand five hundred. So this is what you have got now. We have prepared now. We have got the profit. So the next we need to prepare is that balance sheet. So balance sheet. As on thirty one twelve two thousand seventeen, let me insert the table here. Liabilities rupees, as assets rupees. So now let's start with the capital here. We have given opening capital in the problem. The given opening capital in the problem as it is eighty nine thousand four hundred. So let me write down here eighty nine thousand four hundred. To this, you write add net profit. So net profit, which we have arrived here forty eight thousand. Five hundred. So now the sub total will be one lakh thirty seven thousand nine hundred. From this less drawings. So the, the drawings which are given the problem as rupees sixteen thousand. So the difference here it will be we are going to arrive at one lakh twenty one thousand nine hundred. Now let us take on the asset side. Debtors rupees forty six thousand less R R D D R D D that is two thousand three hundred at five percent. So the difference here it is. So we are going to derive the difference as of forty three thousand seven hundred. Next, creditors, which we have found by preparing the creditors, uh, here we have arrived at total debtors. We have read thirty-three thousand four hundred. 
so here 33,400 then stock that is closing stock we should take it has come 41,000 which is given there then bills payable which, is, which we have found by preparing the total uh, bills payable account 5600 then plant so the plant it is given as 40,000 less depreciation that is calculated of 10% so 4,000 so the here it is 36,000 then building uh, sorry furniture furniture given as a piece of 4,000 less depreciation 400 so 400 so that comes to 3600 then building building 32000 less depreciation 1600 so it will be 30400 next cash closing value of cash that is which is given the receipts in payment account 4400 then bills receivable which we have prepared there and we have found it as 3600 so all the items are over so total here it will be 1,60,900 here also the total will be 1,60,900 so this is a 15 marks question which is asked here so this is the fashion in which it should be prepared here so this is the re even you can call it as a revised statement of affairs or balance sheet in the double system it is called as balance sheet only thank you